Man, honestly, um, I kind of forgot that Battlefield had reset on Global a few days ago and that this was a thing, you know? Maybe it's because I'm getting older now and my brain is not working as well as it used to, or maybe it was the sickness, right? Like I'm definitely feeling much better now, but the last couple of days were pretty rough. Uh, either way, regardless of the reason, we're super late, but I still gotta get this done. So let's jump in here, guys. And of course I do have a timer over my head for uh, those of you that wanna race me to see who can finish this one faster. Okay, so I'll start that in a second once we set the team for this first fight, which is going to be your Saiyans slash uh, Team Bardock. Now, a lot of people have told me that I don't have to keep bringing a actual team to fight this guy since he does no damage and uh, he also, you know, has like no HP, right? So you just have to bring one unit and the rest Cybermen and he should be good. And that's true but it bothers me to not bring a proper team. So we're gonna do this, and without further ado, let's jump in here in three, two, one, go. All right, so hopefully he doesn't dodge us too much because it's all RNG dependent, right? And since we're racing, I wanna get through this as quickly as possible, but I've had runs where he literally dodges like six or seven attacks in a row. I've also had runs where He'll dodge one attack or just not dodge at all so we'll see how this goes okay so second attack dodge as well third attack dodge okay so it's gonna be one of those days it's gonna be one of those days all right well all we can do is keep attacking hopefully one of these land eventually that's four in a row now Five, all right, six, okay. So yeah, he's not a hard enemy by any means, right? He's he's really like supposed to be beatable by anybody, um, regardless of your uh, experience, regardless of what units you have, what teams you have, and so on and so forth. But sometimes he can just be a massive douchebag like this. I mean, we finally got him with an additional normal, but man, that was so many dodges. I don't think I've ever had a run with these new enemies um, quite like that. Okay, so here we go. Second enemy. We're moving on. Uh, this guy's tech, so I'm going to go with int and extreme. And let's just do uh, these guys and a bunch of random. Doesn't really matter too much we bring here. All right, jumping in. A minute 48 seconds. Definitely a terrible start as far as the race goes. So let's try to kill this guy as quickly as we can here. Okay, 18 key super for int cell is a good sign. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I messed up. I should have I should have linked the cell with uh the garlic jr because they both have big bad bosses right and i just maxed out my cells big bad bosses so he could have hit a lot harder oh you know what that's pretty good never mind i think we're fine i think we're fine i was just like yo if i don't kill him this turn i'm gonna really be be upset because i probably would have done a lot more damage right with the big bad bosses active but it didn't really matter either way since uh cell Got a crit and did some some great damage. So, okay, level one clear. Moving on to level two. Obviously, level one is super, super easy. Level two is pretty easy, too. Level three is where things uh, kind of get real. So, level two, uh, we're going to fight Thouser first. Uh, he's extreme int, so we're going to go for extreme fizz here. I'm going to go cooler. Uh, let's do Goku Black. Why not? And then sell and these guys okay three minutes and 15 seconds yeah very very slow i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be able to beat me this time which is cool although i'm still gonna try to go for a good, as as fast of a time as possible given the circumstances
Oh, I've gotten some questions about this water bottle, by the way. Um, I got it from the Nike outlet near my place. And I believe it holds about two liters, two liters of water, which is um, a good amount, right? Basically, I'm just too lazy to get up all the time. So I, I fill this up and I can just like drink, you know, water out of it throughout the day. And then, uh, you know, every once in a while, like every four or five hours, I'll fill it up again. I try to essentially drink two to three of these a day. It's a uh, part of my initiative to drink more water this year since uh, drinking water is important. And I think in the past, like before, I was dehydrating myself. Hold on, uh, who should I bring for the second lead? Uh, doesn't really matter, okay, let's do this. There we go, okay. So yeah, I feel like I wasn't getting enough water in previous years. So yeah, that's why I bought this. And I think it's working. I, I think it's working. Okay, so this guy can seal. That kind of sucks. He, he sealed our hardest hitter on, on this rotation. And I've always been curious, man, like does he specifically target the, the enemy with the highest attack stat or is it just random and I just got unlucky because I'm 99% sure yeah the full power Frieza has the highest attack stat on this rotation it should be higher than the than the Omega Shenron so it might just be bad luck or it could be like a selective kind of thing we'll see what the next rotation yeah, we'll see what the next rotation. I haven't really, really been paying attention uh, before, but it's just something I just thought about. Okay, so Broly has the, wait, maybe it's, no, Broly has the highest attack stat. So it's not the unit with the highest attack stat, it seems, which is interesting. Um, I think the Goku and uh, Hit should get a super steal with the additional key they get. Maybe, unless he seals us here. He doesn't seal good okay so there's a super i think that'll do it and i still hate this animation <laughs> great unit great unit i really really like the unit i just still think the animation could have been so much better and it's not like the worst looking animation in the game by any means right there are definitely much worse looking animations it's just for a unit that came out as recently as god Koo and hit and for you know as great of like source material they have for this for these characters right like they definitely could have made the animations so much better in my opinion but it is what it is you know can't change it now so we just gotta accept it and and live with it i guess Ooh, we got uh double androids here hopefully get that rotation going because that would be monstrous give me two androids <sighs> damn it Oh, hold on, actually. Oh, do you have them for the other rotation, which is good. Um, yo, Freeze is gonna be putting in some work here. He might actually solo. He might he might solo Trunks by himself. If we get like triple supers, I think Trunks is done. Yo, that was actually some some damage right there. I wasn't expecting that super to, to hit so hard. Okay, so that's one. Give me two. Oh, actually, no, two, two is guaranteed. Two is guaranteed. Three might be able to do it here, though. Especially with the crit. One more. Okay, so two supers. Um, yeah, Nappa doesn't hit that hard. But a crit would still be probably good enough. There we go. All right. Trunks down. We're uh, catching up a little bit, I think. I think our time is looking a little bit better at this point it's still not gonna be great but yeah it's not gonna be as sad as it could have been <laughs> oh by the way guys are any of you watching batman this weekend uh i am watching it tonight with some friends from the gym um it should be a good time i'm like honestly i wasn't that excited for it um but one of the guys was just like super super hyped for it. he's like yo we gotta go watch it on release day and i was like yo, do we do we need to though like is it gonna be that good like i'm not sure about you know pattinson as 
uh, Batman. Like I know him as as Edward from from Twilight, right? I've seen all the Twilight movies. Don't ask me why. And um, you know, I remember him from like uh, from from Harry Potter as Cedric Diggory, right? But like, I don't know about him as Batman. Like, I don't, I don't know if I if I see it. Uh, but the guy was just like so excited that I couldn't really turn him down. So yeah, I'm going tonight and. Recently, I've been seeing some of the reviews, right? Some of the reviews from like IGN is kind of iffy, but IGN gave them a 10. A bunch of other outlets gave them like 9s, 9.5, just like really, really good scores, right? I think, I think around Tomatoes right now, they have like a 90% or at least like 85%, somewhere in that range. So very, very good is the point. And uh, it's making me interested, man. It's making me much more intrigued about, you know, how good this movie could actually be. And I recently saw a interview with uh, Robert Pattinson, and he was talking about like how he loved Final Fantasy VII remake, and he was having a hard time deciding between who to choose, uh, Tifa or or Aerith, right? And I was like, okay, this guy just became like a million times more relatable because he understands our struggle as gamers, right? So, <laughs> yeah, um, definitely got high hopes now, and uh, I'll let you guys know probably in a video tomorrow what I thought about it. You know, I'm not going to do like a proper review for it or anything like that, like a separate review video, but in one of these videos, man, when I'm doing like some Dokkan gameplay, I'll just give you guys my thoughts, but let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for this one, um, what you expect from it as far as the quality goes, as far as like Robert Pattinson as Batman goes, um, everything I've read about it seems to indicate that like it's it's a pretty dark movie, which I guess makes sense for Batman, but apparently it's closer to like a horror movie than a superhero movie, which is a pretty interesting take on on Batman, I would say. So yeah, um, I can't wait. Let me just uh, focus here for a second. Oh. Here we go, and I will report back to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be a late night though, cause uh, he bought like the friend bought the tickets, right? And I was just like, okay, just whatever time, whenever you want to go see it, let's just go. Um, and I had no idea what the time was, and then I realized today, literally like this morning, I asked, and he was like, yeah, the movie's at 10:30, and it's a three-hour movie. So we're probably going to be out of there by like earliest, you know, 2.30, right? <laughs> or no, 1.30? Yeah, earliest 1.30, but then there's going to be previews, there's going to be like trailers and stuff. Movies never start at the time they're supposed to, so we're probably not going to be out of the theater until 2 a.m., which is kind of crazy. That, that's kind of crazy. So I might be really tired tomorrow. You guys will see if I am. But maybe the movie is going to be so good that I'll be super amped. And uh, it'll just, it just it'll wake me up. You know, keep me awake. Maybe I'll stay up all night thinking about this movie. <laughs> Who knows? It's hard to say. But regardless, yeah. Very intrigued now. Very excited. Hopefully you guys are excited for it too. Hopefully it's not a letdown. That's the big thing. Because I'm always wary about reviews that come out before a movie is actually released to the public, right? I'm always like, yo, like these press screenings and stuff like that, maybe, you know, they're paying people off <laughs> to, to write them good reviews. I'm not saying it's like a common thing or anything, but you know, like maybe there were some monetary incentives for some of these reviewers to give it a really good score. I'm just saying it's possible. So I'm not gonna let the reviews loud my judgment by any means I'm not gonna just like just because a movie has good reviews doesn't mean I'm gonna like it right there's been so many movies that I've watched that have had amazing reviews where I'm just like I don't get it man <laughs> like not not that I don't understand the story or the premise of the movie but more so like why is it so highly rated that's what I didn't understand so it could be one of those situations it could also be one of those movies where after, you know, the normal people, after like, just like the general public watches it, the uh, score starts dropping dramatically or maybe the audience score is much lower 
than the critic score. That's also... Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay, so this is going to end into my time, too. That's very unfortunate. I hate when that happens, man. All right, all right, we're fine. We're still making decent time. Let's fight this Goku. Uh, Super AGL. Okay. And let's go for... As many Kamehameha guys as we can, but also I gotta get the new trunks in there and let's do let's do the AGL Goku. Okay, three more enemies guys. Obviously the only real concern is um Omega Shenron, who has killed me a couple times. Which is something that the Golden Frieza never did. Okay, so UI in the front for sure. If we get two dodges, we can also get the uh 18 key super off. And damn, look at those orbs, man. The, the the board was super nice to us on this rotation. So he did he get hit twice? He took two hits. Seventy percent chance to dodge, guys. Supposedly seventy percent chance to dodge. But he's still very good. Yo, I've heard some people call uh, the sixth anniversary LR's mid, especially the 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 Vegeta actually, but also the Goku um, to some extent. And I'm like. Yo, just because the 7th Anniversary LRs are amazing, just because the 7th Anniversary LRs are undeniably the best units in the game now, it does not mean that other units are not good still, right? Like, I think they still stack up pretty favorably, you know, like the 6th Anniversary LRs. I think they still stack up pretty well to the 7th Anni LRs. And not to say they're as good, because I'm not that delusional. I'm just saying, it's not like... They look terrible next to the 7th Anti LRs. So, yeah, how can you call UI Goku mid? It just doesn't make any sense to me. He still hits really hard. You know, like 50% chance to crit with every super, multiple supers every turn. Um, you know, his attack stat is not super high, but like he can get over 5 mil with his 18k super. And if he launches three supers, that's like 5 mil plus 4 plus 4. And. <sighs> Don't forget the 70% chance to dodge, right? So, I just think it's kind of crazy, man. I think people are kind of tripping when they call uh, UI Goku, especially mid. SSB Vegeta, you know, I can see that a little bit more. Because, like, he's not as impressive in really any way compared to the UI. They really, they kind of, they kind of shafted Vegeta a little bit there, didn't they? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Like, SSB is still really good, in my opinion. But relative to Goku, he's not nearly as good, is he? He's not really, no. But anyways, yo, don't call don't call UI Goku mid, okay? The AGL LR UI Goku is still one of the better units in the game, in my opinion. He's still, he's still gotta be like top 10, I would say. Still gotta be like top 10. Okay, Goku's done. We got... Piccolo Jr. here, uh, who is Fizz, so SDR, Super, uh, I'm gonna go Kaba, uh, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then UI, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4, Vegito, and let's bring, you know what, let's just do damage, because I was gonna bring the high school Gohan support, but I was like, we don't really need the tanking, and, you know, I just want to kill him as fast as possible, since we're Technically having a race. Ooh, we got the double Super Saiyan 4 rotation. That is that is fortunate. That is freaking awesome. Alright. Uh that's gonna be 18 key? No, not quite. Alright, so it didn't get 18 key for the Vegito, just missed it by one key actually. We are, however, gonna be getting a counter for my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's amazing. Yo, these guys have a lot of HP. These guys have a lot of HP. Damn. It's still only gonna take us like two to three rotations, but yeah, it's a little bit surprising. You know, the numbers that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta put up right now <laughs> compared to what he's putting up on JP with the with the uh Extreme Z Awakening. It's just it's hilarious, man. The, the, the difference is night and day. It's night and day, but to be fair, right now, without the EZA, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta actually gets no attack on turn 1, right? He's building up attack over the course of the event. Um, so yeah, super glad that that's a thing now. 
because uh, that guy, that man desperately needed an Extremes the Awakening. Uh, let's give 8 orbs to Kaba. Still not going to do any damage really, but more than, you know, more than before. Or more than if I had given him like one orb. And yeah, these guys hit pretty hard too. Look at Gogeta taking... It shouldn't be a surprise though, because Gogeta is not a very good tank. But still, man, taking crazy damage from those supers. And he healed up a ton too. He healed up like 4 mil, I believe. Okay, yeah, um, these guys are getting pretty tough. These guys are getting pretty tough. Which makes me a little bit nervous about Omega coming up. But I think we still got this. My goal this time is to not die. Okay, not die even once in this run. So hopefully that can happen. All right, uh, yeah, let's give these to Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and that should be, that should be GG for Piccolo Jr. Okay, come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. No crit, nope, no crit, but it's good enough. <laughs> we didn't need it. All right, Omega Shenron time. Moment of truth. This is where things get uh, really serious. This man is AGL. My tech team is not the strongest. My super tech team is not the strongest. So uh, I am a little bit worried. But I don't think we used extreme tech either. So we could run extreme tech after. All right. Uh, let's do Tien. Let's do Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then Gohan. Gogeta. Go Bros. Uh, oh, let's bring, let's bring Gohan for it for some, some tanking. And finally, let's go Goku and Frieza. I'm, um, I'm not sure if that was the right choice, to be honest, because Go Frieza sometimes struggle for key a bit. Uh, oh my god, Tien in that first slot is bad news. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna die, guys. I'm sorry. It, it, it's gonna happen. It, it's, it's. I mean, we got close to 100k with all those orbs. At least we were able to get a good amount of orbs. Well, that's rough, man. That is super rough. <coughs> all right, here we go. Please don't super me. No! Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive, just barely, just barely. Um, that was essentially the worst start you could possibly, I could possibly have have gotten, you know? Like, it doesn't really get that much worse. Uh, I think anybody in that first slot would have been better than, than Tien. And yet to super us too. It was just a bad situation all around. It was a bad situation. Can we come back? Can we make a miraculous comeback? An additional would have been nice, but that's fine. Um, why does he have to lock like the worst units for me, man? It's just, it's not cool. It's not cool. God, uh, I'm gonna put Gohan there. No super, unfortunately, but I should be able to get a good super for this Gohan here if he if we manage to get there, actually, because I feel like the Gold Bros are probably dead. I think the Gold Bros are going to get us killed, man. Okay, that 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 is encouraging. Additional super is good. One more attack. No, okay. Okay, at least Gohan is going to be the one that most likely takes that super here. And, you know, with the, the guard activated, he might be able to survive. Yeah, okay. Damn it, man. Alright, uh, I could do another super tech team, actually, I just realized. Uh, Alright, let's do another super tech team. He's, he's barely alive anyways, so he might as well. Uh, yeah, this is, this is okay. This is okay. I didn't even, I didn't even mean to bring two super tech viable teams, right? Like two viable super tech teams, but it just kind of worked out that way. Okay, um, I think this is fine. 
although Vegito in the middle is not ideal. I think we'll be okay. Alright, so let's see. Uh, oh, that's some good damage. Luckily, we still have the extreme tech team, so if I need it, um, I have that as my at my disposal. Uh, Vegito, I need you to do like five super attacks here, if you if you can, if you please. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We might die twice. That would be a record. That would be a record. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we're dead, guys. I think... I think we're dead. <laughs> Basically, I knew that it was gonna be rough when he had locked by Tien in the first slot, first rotation, um, with like a bunch of attacks. I was like, yeah, it's 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 over, guys. It's a it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And uh, yeah, I was right. I was correct. Now at least Janemba should be okay there. Um, unfortunately, oh hold on. What if I do this? It's risky, it's risky, but this allows me to get a nice super for my androids, which actually might finish off the Omega. Okay, at least it's Janemba taking this. Could be worse. 123k. I can live with that. I can live with that. Can I live with Broly? Yeah, Broly is not doing bad. No, it's not. It's not, it's not bad. Solid work, Broly. Alright, androids, I need you to give me two supers right now. I need you to give me two supers, please. One more. Okay, you know what? It's chill. It's chill. Um, Let me think for a second. The problem is we can't get a super attack with either guy, but maybe hit get us an additional attack because he does have a lot of additional and I don't know I don't know it's, it's, a, it's a rough rotation links wise but if hit can what? okay um Broly maybe Broly Hmm. Okay. Uh. I can't move to Nemba. All right, that's good. Oh. I can't remember the last time I struggled this much on Battlefield. Is it me, or am I just getting bad luck, or... Oh, can you dodge, please? Does he have 3 dodge? I don't even know if he has 3 dodge. Okay, um... Things are looking kind of bleak now, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what teams I can, I can build right now. Um, can we do, like, a super type team? Can we do... Hmm, they have all types leaders. I do have all types leaders, actually. Super should be fine, I think. Should be okay. Oh man. Oh man. No! Yo, this is a joke. This is a freaking joke. He actually locked my Vegito. Vegito Blue. Uh, 
This whole thing, this whole run up to this point has made no sense, right? So, um, yeah, what can I say? If only he had not locked Tapion, I think we would have been okay, actually. Like, that really sucks, man. This is definitely something that I've never experienced before. Um, with Battlefield, since the very first Battlefield. Literally since the very first Battlefield. I have never used up all my units and die like that. I mean, this is just... I have no words, man. I have no words. Of course, we're gonna still beat him. Um, I'm gonna probably go through it again and then just skip to the end so you guys don't have to suffer through this with me again. But, uh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I feel like I let you down. I feel like I let you guys down. I let myself down. Um. But. What can you do? That's life sometimes. All right, so we are back to take our revenge on this AGL Omega Shenron. Um, I, I'm still really trying to comprehend exactly what happened back there because that was, that was by far the baddest, biggest L I've ever taken playing this game, man. I don't think it's even close. I really don't. But, um, for now, let's just focus our energy on on winning. So, uh, for the leaders, I'm gonna go with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and I mean, I kinda wanna go Tien again, but he let me down so bad last time that maybe we should use somebody else instead. Like, uh, the Trunks is not a bad choice, right? I believe uh, he still, yeah, keep plus three. HP, attack, and defense. 120 across the board. So let's go with Trunks, and then we'll do Gohan. Uh, other Gohan. Let's do go Frieza again, because obviously they do very good damage. And then Gogeta. And finally, I'ma say, uh, let's bring a better defensive unit, so Gogeta. All right, there we go. That is the team. I think it's definitely a recipe for success as long as, you know, we avoid disaster like last time. Okay, so this time it's Gogeta getting getting locked, which is already a lot better than, than last time. And I think I'm going to... Uh, I guess we can leave Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the middle. 110k defense, so not amazing, but not not terrible. And there is a super immediately. Let's see how the Goku and Frieza take this. 109. Okay, that's that's decent. I can live with that. What I cannot live with is dying again. Okay, I cannot die again after. Literally dying like, what was that, eight times in a row? It felt like seven or eight times, maybe maybe less, but I don't really know, man. At the end, though, it doesn't really count because I just ran out of units. I ran out of teams to build, right? So I just had to throw out whatever. And a couple of those times, it was literally Cybermen getting supered by Omega. And, like, what was I supposed to do? in those situations, right? There is literally nothing I could realistically do. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just, that's just life sometimes, guys. Okay, uh, damn, this is not a great rotation links-wise. Um, no super for the uh, Majin Vegeta, although I guess it doesn't really matter. Trunks is taking the super. This guy's really tough this time. Omega is really tough this time. And um, 
I don't think it's just me. I think he's actually just getting harder. Um, he legitimately is getting harder and harder with every iteration, and this time he's like quite a bit harder. I don't know, it feels like a pretty big jump from last time. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, um, I don't know, May maybe I'm still sick. <laughs> I'm gonna keep using that as an excuse because this is just too sad. This is <laughs> it's just embarrassing, man. Okay, hopefully Gohan doesn't get... Oh no. Wow. Yo, don't tell me this is happening again. No, there's no way. It, it can... It, it cannot. I can't go through that again, man. I can't go through that again. Okay, um, we got this. We got this. We got this. Whew. It's gonna be fine. Let's relax. Deep breaths. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, guys. It's gonna be a okay. 24 key super or um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That is a good sign. That's a great sign. 18 key super for Vegito. That's also good. Uh, this is gonna be 136k. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay. And give me a crit. Come on. <sighs> crit would have been really clutch there, man. Crit would have been real nice there. But it's fine. We still got this. We still got this. Vegito. Double super, please. Two supers. I said two supers. At least he got a dodge, I guess. One out of three. One out of three. All right. Um. So if we put Gogeta there, he has a high chance to to counter. Um. So okay, let's hope uh, the counter goes through now. Okay, no counter. But we're, we're still alive for now. So that's good. And now we're dead. Wow, this is... This is pretty insane, guys. Now, I do still have my extreme tech team. So... Hopefully they come through for us. Here we go. Um... I guess I gotta go with these guys, but it's not really like ideal. It's it's not really an ideal setup here, but that's just extreme tech, right? It's not it's not a good typing. Which is why it's like a reserve. Um hmm, let's see. We need four type orbs, right? We can't get four type orbs. But it's still better to have Janemba in that first slot nonetheless. Um then, then hit obviously, and give. Mm, let's give these, I guess. And oh, we got a super. We got a super for hits. That's good sign. That is a good sign. Okay, so of course, super immediately on Janemba. He's gonna take 123k, 32k. Alright, I think we can make it through, guys. I think we can, uh... Get out of here alive with this team. It might be close. It might be tight. But I think we got this. Because I got the androids next turn. And provided we, um... You know, uh... As long as we get some nice tech orbs changed... Uh, the androids should should oh god Dude, that's just unlucky that is just unlucky <sighs> balls um all right so i'm gonna give four orbs there to the androids i can give these to broly so broly can get a nice super off and uh i don't know man <laughs> 
gonna be it's gonna be tough. Okay, Broly. Do the thing, Broly. Please kill him. <sighs> okay. 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 Not gonna lie. I was a little nervous there. I was a little nervous there. Um <laughs> We got it though, so it's fine. You know, it's it's all good. It's all good. It worked out. I can't believe that took me five minutes. I can't believe I actually had to do this whole thing twice to beat Omega once. That has just never happened to me before, man. That has never, ever happened to me before. And on the one hand, it really sucks. On the other hand, I'm kind of happy about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, like, I've, I've always been... I've always been saying, like, I want more of a challenge, and, and and Ultimate Clash, I guess, is starting to give that challenge, man. I mean, it was unexpected. That That's the, I guess, main thing. Like, I did not expect to struggle that bad. But, yo, this month's Omega is no joke, man. This dude is, uh, is a problem. He's a problem and I had a lot of problems let me know in the comments if you guys had any problems with him because uh, as you saw I definitely struggled hard we still beat him at the end which is the most important thing but as I said this was by far the fattest L I've ever taken <laughs> in Dokkan it does not come close. Um, I guess you could argue that like my LR Gohan summons, the AGL Gohan summons, um, were a bigger L, but that's different. That's summons, right? This is like an event just dominating me, like like an event just absolutely crushing my soul. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be thinking about this one. I'm gonna remember this one for for quite some time. But anyways. That is today's Battlefield video. Um, congratulations for beating me in the race because there's no chance that I beat anybody with, I think my final time probably was like over an hour. So, you know, <laughs> what can you do? And uh, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me through this traumatic experience. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>